Hey yeah, folks, welcome back to the another session by Azure Developer Community. And today we have with us Itasha Modi, Azure Developer Lead from Bhopal, and also Alpha Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador. And today she is going to tell you about DevOps and what what is DevOps and how you can use it with Azure, how you can integrate the DevOps technology with Azure and scale up your organization and all. So I hope you all are very excited for this. Let's start with the session. So over to you. Thank you, Varun, for such a lovely introduction. Now, without any further ado, let's get just uh, started. So, all before that, uh, if anybody has an idea about what is DevOps, they can shoot and tell me. Because we will be, of course, uh, moving forward with that. But if our audience has some idea, it would be nice to start with. Hello, Chirag. Hello, Mosin. So let's just start. I'm sharing my screen. I think it's visible to everyone. Okay. So in today's session, we will be seeing what is DevOps and how we can use DevOps with Azure. Um, so introduction, like if you are seeing a process and you want to accelerate its speed, if, if you want to increase efficiency, so what comes into play? That is DevOps. And we will be seeing how DevOps comes into play and what is DevOps in our latest, later slides. You have seen that people do manual checks manual tests as well as uh, when people are uh, sometimes what happens uh, there are stages of when you are creating some uh, product if you have this company and you x company and you are creating a product so there are several checks that uh, a product goes through before it get deployed to the customer they are coding uh, they check bugs they there are internal testings and so much so how we can accelerate this process with the help of devops we will be seeing that Okay, first is what is DevOps? So as DevOps, there are two words. One is Dev and other one is Oops. Dev is for development and Oops for is operation. So DevOps is a combination of development and operation. We can't say that DevOps is a methodology, but DevOps is the union of people, process and technology that we use so that we can accelerate the process of uh, creating our stuff or creating our product uh, to the end user, which is customer. So there are different kind of uh, work process involved. First, we create a plan. Then there is a, we develop it and then we develop it, then we deliver it and all this operation goes on. So this is the workflow for DevOps, security, compliance, continuous improvement, collaboration. These are all the things which one needs to do to accelerate the process of creating the end product nice and fast for the customer, that is the end user. Now let's see the plan. First is uh, there are different kind of workflow. First we plan things, then we develop, then we deliver, and then we operate. Planning involves, we have to see that uh, what kind of efficiency the product has, like how many days, uh, working days it takes. So there are two types of things. One is leading time and one is uh, waste time, that is VSM. So VSM is uh, like how many days, uh, it, like if you are creating a product, there are internal testings as well. And one time uh, the, the what the developer will do, developer will code, that comes in the leading time. But the other time, like uh, the testing time and all, that comes in the VSM. So we have to see the efficiency. For that, we will be checking the efficiency and all this comes in the planning. Then the developer will develop the code for the same, for the bugs. And if it has some bugs after testing, it will overwrite it. And after that, the publisher will publish this in and it will come into effect by latest whenever all the testings are done and then the operations which comes in the picture. So that's how the workflow of plan, develop, deliver and operate. Yeah. Now I want to explain this analogy with the help of an example. 
so uh i know a lot of people like story uh, narration here people like to okay any questions so far hey 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 everyone yeah hope priyanshu you will enjoy the session don't worry mohsin uh, we will uh, be discussing only beginner things right now in this the later things like jenkin docker it will be delivered in the later sessions in this session it's very beginner friendly so so far i think uh, you already are uh, aware about the devops terms also if we say that azure the devops also helps in releasing the code in more efficient cooperative and stable manner we can say that azure uh, azure has also developed a devops that's a platform where you can integrate your uh, product you can see the progress of it you can also see uh, how the workflow is so hence it's kind of productivity it's a union of people which do this work now if we see that we have a uh, uh, we have a scenario here so that you guys understand better i have started to explain you with the help of a story narration so imagine you guys uh, there is a company known as uh, tailspin toys so it's a gaming company and they have launched a space game now uh, if you are launching a space game you have to write it code and you have to use uh, then you have to deploy it and they use linux as this uh, their uh, os so you have to deploy it to linux and so many things goes on now there are a team as well i'll show in the later slide um so uh, for the team that is space game company tailspin they are launching this game space game now we have a team for the same so here are your teammates you can imagine yourself as well i don't mind like this is person 1 andy this is amita this is tim and this is irvin so the designation and their workflow is also written on the left hand side so andy is a development lead who is working with computers since he was a kid so this guy is a very professional in development hence he is working in the development field here amita is in qna and she organizes things and according to the priorities she will do the task and here is tim tim is in operations so he like practical solutions and he is also very um, like paranoid he wants the work at time this is irvin irvin is the product manager so he has been working in the video game industry since decades he is friendly but he also needs the time with faster and with lesser efforts now uh, imagine uh, a teammate uh, name uh, anybody like i can name a uh, priyanshu like so priyanshu joins this team and he finds that uh, the structure of the team is very disorganized and they are not uh, actually doing the work on in a efficient manner rather the slow manner so what he does is he decided to propose them the idea of devops and how they can accelerate things with the help of devops so what he does is he comment someone everyone summons someone everyone everyone in the meeting and then he uh, proposes the idea of of having using a value stream map so what is a value stream map so value stream map is a kind of map which you create uh, in which you show that what are the working hours and what are the leading time and what is the waste time which uh, goes in the uh, testing uh, checking bugs these are all the waste time which goes so what he does is he creates a plan for that for the newly company he joined but he doesn't know the workflow right now what company does like many internal thing he doesn't know but he uh, promises that he wants to uh, accelerate this work time so he goes what he goes with the uh, plan of value stream map so this is the value stream map he created and he invited his friends uh, his colleagues andy amita tim and irvin so so what he does is if you see this value stream map there's this functional speed and then the source code 
what uh, source control the source control will uh, then goes to like code you will write the code and then it will be some person will write into spreadsheet and then it will go for testing the internal members will test it and if it has uh, imagine it has some bugs then the uh, the testers will report that it has bugs then bug fixing so sometime bug fixing will take and then um, if we see uh, there will be uh, pre production and after the pre production approves it it will go to the uh, customer after it's uh, after it's published it will go to the customer so these are the steps which are involved in a firm or in a company uh, which when we are creating a product so if you see here as i told there are two terms which is one is leading time and other is process time and process time also known as vsm uh, which is the how many uh, hours and time we have wasted uh, in doing all this which are not productive to the end user because writing code is productive to the end user because we are uh, writing that uh, feature particular feature for the customer itself at the end of the day our goal is to satisfy customer our goal is to make customer happy so that comes into leading time and process time is all that testing and all goes into and uh, uh, one person asking for spreadsheet and this this all comes in the process time so if we want to create uh, find the efficiency what we do is we divide the process time with the leading time and we will get it in numbers of uh, less than 0 and if we uh, multiply it with 100 we will get the uh, efficient time which is the working hour so more the efficient time more the better productivity for increasing the productivity what we do is we use devops so if you see here leading time is uh, 22 days and process time is 5 days uh, as see writing uh, we one person will ask us code uh, the developer will write the code uh, then uh, one person first the uh, clerk will go and ask like uh, if they are okay with uh, if the developers are free to write this code then developer will give his time in this process some time will take and then code uh, the developer will write the code in this process some time will take and then uh, the other uh, colleague will ask for spreadsheet uh, and all then in testing like you see their internal processes if you are uh, do you think that uh, when we are uh, applying or when we are creating a new feature in a company it just get deployed directly to the customer well no that's not the case what happens is if i have created imagine i have created an azure i have created a button and that button just takes me to other websites and all that's a new feature i have created imagine so i won't be just uh, as a company uh, we won't be just sharing it uh, direct to the end customer because it can have uh, bugs and which can not uh, which can remove the faithfulness between the customer as well as the company so we do internal testings there are different uh, role as testers so what testers do is uh, testers test this uh, new feature repeatedly really and then once they acquire that yes it doesn't have any bugs and all then only it goes to pre production pre production uh, play with this feature and see if it works and then only it gets deployed so some work here testing uh, work goes so what happens if we divide 5 by 22 it comes out to be 0.23 and if we multiply it by 100 we get 23 percentage and which is very less for uh, a company uh, on a productive rate so for accelerating this what comes into picture is devops you can monitor things uh, you can uh, you can also see that if anything uh, is not working properly and that to in a systematic manner because of the platform that we have any questions so far hello 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 everyone any questions so far with devops if not uh, then we can move forward and if you have then shoot on because it's supposed to be an interactive session guys okay i don't think so anybody has any question or did i miss anything um, 
मैम कैन यू प्लीज क्लिक ऑन प्रेजेंट ओके या सो दिस इज वॉट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द वैल्यू स्ट्रीम मैप्स नाउ देर डिफरेंट प्रोसेस वन इज डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस दैट कम्स इन ऑल दैट द प्रोसेस विच वी डू फॉर डेवलपिंग आर सॉफ्टवेयर आर न्यू फीचर और वॉट एवर वी आर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग दैन टेस्टिंग प्रोसेस या टेस्टिंग प्रोसेस then operation process all this work and other processes are known as operation process then vsm as i explained you vsm is a kind of time which we see uh, which is wastage time which is not included in the productive time or leading time in all this testing and all that is vsm okay now let's see the customer value matrices which is very very important guys because uh, if you see that's how we um, see how productive a company is going um okay so if you see in the previous case and scenario priyanshu was the one who was uh, into all this and who suggested that we should make a map for checking how productive our company is really and why what are the factors the company is lacking uh, the productive ratio and uh, why there is a delay in delivering the product to the end user which is customer so what are the uh, inferences he got that their total time is 22 days and the feature has uh, value to the customer that is process time and in the process time four days are for coding and one day for the feature which is gives the total time of five days and for the activity ratio uh, what is the activity ratio and then somehow the product uh, the efficiency is uh, found out to be 5 by 22 into 100 and that is 23% so uh, we can say there is a lot uh, of room for improvement and seeing that 22 days for a feature to be launched is way too much for company's growth as well as productivity yeah now the question arises why devops so if you see we have customer its requirement testing and dev team and then operations and business so you can see customer and requirements are uh, fulfilled even without uh, the devops and testing also but you can see the operation and all this lacks because of lack of devops technology implemented so what we do is we implement the devops technology and with the help of that you can monitor things you can see that how much time everything is taking you can integrate things you can uh, use different kind of things like kubernetes docker and uh, jenkins so with the help of that you can accelerate your process so that's why we use devops um yeah now um let's just see um the other one yeah now let us see the delivery challenge that we face while we are uh, in the process of you not using a, a like a devop mechanism so if we use a ma devop mechanism we ha we have manage we don't have much management issue we have better understanding of risk dependencies and compliance issues and in the de deployment configuration also we have best tracking issues faster escalation and granular reporting of course and we can automate our uh, deployment which can be solved with the help of devops yes any questions so far can you please uh,
okay so that was about how we have seen uh, the devops now if we see there are certain things like uh, in devops 2 there are uh, other features as well first you have to create an organization and with the help of organization only you can see a lot of things like uh, uh, you can monitor your stuff you can also see where the issues are lacking where we have not configured our stuff uh, product easily so these are all comes into picture with the help of devops now if we see the deployment process suppose we have one person and who can create labels and that's uh, as the example told that was andy so we request a label by email and then we use the cvs cvc control system that is centralized version control system so andy wants all the existing code to be checked in and stable before he creates the label so after the label is created we get an email to begin the work and it takes up to so many days this can be processed these are the room of improvements that we can do in the scenario with such we just now created with our teammates the other thing where we can improve is testing process so after we decide that we have stable built and we update the spreadsheet we are ready for the testing and it also takes some two three days for testing and after that it, the tester has to notify as well if he or she or they uh, if they find any bug so this also takes some time then comes operation process after uh, the manager approves yes uh, it doesn't have any developer approves that it doesn't have any bugs so uh, it needs to be deployed and deploy is uh, done by the pre production servers for more testing most of the times if we see that pre production servers are out of sync with the latest patches uh, updates new technologies that are needed for the website so what we do is uh, it also takes some more time for the pre production to run the tests again while deploying and it doesn't add really some value to the customer end product so it also comes in the vsm time after the build is ready for production the leader needs to approve it before it can be deployed so this also happens in a meeting and all and it also takes some time eventually after all this is done the feature is sent to the customer and uh, if the production server configuration has dif drifted then first we need to update it and then also it takes one day so the customer value matrix is also known as cvm uh, comes out to be 0.2.3 which is very less as compared to the other companies so uh, from there we uh, go to uh, different uh, uh, devops uh, we, here we understand that uh, using devops will help us not only with adopting azure and other practices but also in case it can revisit the numbers and it can also update the vsm at some point now i have a, a question for you all let's see who will answer it are you guys ready let's have a question quick question and see who can answer it so i want to ask you so far we have talked so much about vsm that is value stream map what according to you is the purpose of a vsm yes priyanshu answer it aman saini akush gupta let's see who answer it. what according to you is the purpose of a value stream map is it that that it helps in existing processes or in the model 
or is it that it helps to gain official devops accreditation or is it that it just extra paperwork what do you think is the work of vsm um yes harshit answer to view the entirely of a process flow from start to finish and create a plan to yes uh, that's uh, correct harshit exactly we want to optimize our plans uh, so that uh, we don't waste our time in the uh, non leading uh, uh, non leading time process exactly exactly increasing efficiency of a value stream yes priyanshu one more answered khush gupta vsm as a fundamental tool to identify waste reduce reduce uh, process cycle time exactly i'm very happy that you guys are listening very efficiently <laughs> yeah uh, so uh, now let's see for the now at this point we haven't really explained what devops is in uh, definition kind of terms so uh, devops if we see is a suite of services first of all some people say that the devops is a methodology which i completely deny uh, because it's not a methodology nor neither a software nor a hardware but it's a suite of services that spans the entire devops life cycle it starts with planning and goes through the way through deployment monitoring and at some places it also serves uh, gives you services which you can use to monitor your services to optimize your uh, product to integrate it so that's basically devops um yes moving on we have practices so these are the kind of practices which one need to do in devops uh, to um, optimize your uh, end product better one is agile planning then is a uh, continuous integration also known as ci and uh, continuous delivery also known as cd and monitoring of course we have been talking about monitoring for so long now so have you have seen like so many uh, at uh, so many services they, they say ci cd that's actually continuous integration and continuous delivery so agile planning involve that we have to see all the backlogs and then we have to prioritize that uh, which needs more attention first uh, do we need to first fix the bugs or do we need to add new feature of course we do need to fix bugs first so that comes in the agile planning because there is no point of uh, increasing a new feature or adding a new feature to your existing project when that existing project itself has bugs so that's agile planning to see what we need to prioritize first then we have continuous integration so if you are uh, automating uh, and building and testing your code you run it every time and uh, a team member commit changes to it uh, with the help of version control that is a uh, continuous integration continuously you are trying uh, to uh, increase uh, rerun it uh, test your code so that uh, its uh, efficiency increases then we have continuous delivery that is uh, how we test and configure and then after testing and configuring how you are building it to the production uh, to the production environment continuously again because the term is continuous that is very important and required when you are doing devops so continuous delivery is required continuous integration is required monitoring of course you can use a uh, monitoring of course you need to monitor uh, where uh, your uh, end uh, end product is performance is what are the usage pattern and with the help of that you can uh, you can modify your product uh, you can modify your feature uh, with the help of uh, with the help of this devops and see uh, how the customer is liking it and according to that you can ch make changes to that that is monitoring then if we say about uh, azure devops 
so far we have discussed about devops so much now we need to see uh, what is exactly is your devops so azure devops is a, a collection of several tools which you can use for collaborating uh, it has automated build processes testing uh, version control packages and there's so much more which you have to you can create projects there organizations there uh, you can uh, also use a, a version control uh, you can also uh, create projects there in inside your uh, organization you can also change your organization to pa private public according to your uh, preferences so that all comes into azure uh, azure devops so now let's see what uh, our team has to say about it so i will be sharing you a link so that you can see uh, azure devops uh, meanwhile i am also trying to uh, take you through us how you can also create your uh, very own uh, service in azure so i would recommend that you guys uh, just click this and do it alongside um sarthak uh, you can use jenkins uh, there are so many tools available for ci cd you can use jenkins bamboo gitlab code ship anything you can use uh, whichever interests you now i have i hope that everybody has clicked on this link so we will be moving for further how you can create your own organization in the azure devops do tell me in the comment section if you have no actually devops is not a methodology that's one big concern uh, a lot of people confuse it, it with methodology no devops is not a methodology devops is a uh, a process it's a suit of uh, people uh, organizations uh, people which work towards it so there are different monitoring comes into play uh, so you can't say it's a methodology okay you have uh, clicked on this uh, thing now what you have to do is if you uh, go to uh, i'll share my screen yes jenkins can be integrated so give me a sec i'll just share my screen just a sec guys meanwhile you can just uh, explore the features we have in azure devops yes so 
I will be sharing my screen. Okay, so can you see? Um, okay. Okay, so can you see my screen? I think you can. Uh, so if you go here, so here is the this is the platform we have in Azure uh, for DevOps. So what you can do to create your very own, uh, you for creating your very own organization, you click for this uh, start free and there are other things as well you can explore like uh, pricing, partner resources. You can see here, you can also get trained here. Uh, you can uh, see read blogs uh, and other things for uh, your help. So what you do is you go to start free, then wait for it. Since I have already created a Azure DevOps organization, it shows here. You can also start with a new one as well. I have my uh, student ambassador ID already logged in and I have already created a organization for the same. So it didn't ask me to create again. But if you are going for creating a DevOps um, organization, it will prompt you. So you need to fill uh, credentials uh, like um, um, start free button. Then you have to sign into your Microsoft account. If you don't have, then you have to create one. And then you have to further uh, just complete the steps to create your very own organization. Okay, I think uh, this was uh, helpful. Now let me just stop sharing my screen and let's go back. Tell me if you have once you have created your organization. Okay, so uh, I think nor is uh, Aman has created and Rashid Salim has also created his organization. Do tell me once you have created your uh, organization. Okay. Now let me see the questions. There are so many questions also. Project name. Uh, yes, it can be given anything. If you want to go for creating your project uh, in uh, further steps, you can give any name to your project. I think I missed questions. Let me see. Can you tell about uh, CI uh, CD? Okay, so first of all, CI CD is continuous integration, continuous. Uh, uh, so for CI uh, CD, continuous deployment. So Azure pipelines are uh, continuous uh, uh, delivery. And so Azure pipeline combines continuous integration that is CI and continuous delivery that is CD to for testing and building your code, which can be shipped to any target. So CI, which is continuous integration, is the practice that uh, development teams use for automating, merging, and testing code. CI helps in catching bugs and in the early development cycle. It is also very less expensive to fix. This is one reason we use DevOps. And uh, if you see automatic tests, 
CI also has it ensures quality. The CI system are also uh, it releases process and it doesn't need uh, drive frequent deployments also. So that's about CI. And if we talk about uh, continuous delivery, that is CD. This is also a process in which uh, code is built, tested, and deployed to one or more test. And uh, deploying and testing is a multiple environment uh, process which increases the environment quality. It also produces artifacts. If you see, there are different uh, infrastructure and apps which can be helped by CD. So that's about CI and CD. Any other question? How certificate given me? Uh, for that, you have to attend our bootcamp as well as sessions uh, for you to get a certificate, uh, Rashid created created so amazing that you guys have created so that's how you have created your very own organization now let's get back to our presentation give me a sign guys sign uh Give me a sec, guys. Let me open my slide. after creating a project what's next step so for all this uh, after creating project uh, you have there will be you must be prompted to select either public or uh, private so after that uh, you have you can just good to go you can uh, explore it you can monitor it uh, after you add in any project Okay. And uh, private option is uh, disabled. So, um, private option. No, it must be because uh, right now you are having a free account and it's not paid account. Like uh, for uh, us ambassadors, uh, we get uh, a paid account, so we don't have it uh, disabled. Okay. Now coming back to slides. Yes, so yeah, so we have seen that how we have used the VCM. We have seen uh, why we need DevOps. We have seen what are the delivery challenges that we face if we don't use DevOps. We have seen the practices, agile uh, planning, continuous integration, continuous delivery and monitoring. Uh, we have also seen what is Azure DevOps. 
So that's the several tools that we need for team collaboration, which helps in automating uh, building process, testing, version control. We have seen this. Now let, let us see what are the services that we have in uh, Azure DevOps. So there is a list of services. I have listed down some of the main of the services, which is Azure Board, Azure Pipelines. Somebody asked, I think, CI, CD Pipelines. So here it comes, Pipelines. Azure Boards, Azure Pipelines, Azure Test Plans, Azure Repos, Azure Artifacts. So if we talk about Azure Boards, so these are the tools which helps us planning, tracking, and discussing work. So here you can see the, all the work which can be done in a meeting can be done in Azure board. So here we have, uh, if we talk about the scenario that we firstly created a storyline of the SpaceX game. So the time can be saved here in the Azure board. One, one is done. Then Azure pipelines. So they help in building, testing and deploying with the help of CI, CD, of course. Uh, it can be worked with any language and uh, with the any language platform and cloud. So all the VCM time which we wasted, now our efficiency can be improved here uh, if we use Azure pipelines. So that's how uh, the deployment process is facilitated and the time is being saved. Uh, the end time uh, for the, uh, the main time efficiency is increased and uh, the time uh, which uh, the from the production end and the customer end is decreased, more faithfulness in the company and uh, faster rate of uh, deployment of a new feature that is helped by Azure pipelines. Two things, second thing, two things we have done here. We have uh, improvised our action plan for the new feature. Now the third comes Azure test plans. So they are testing tools. If you see after we are done uh, with the, uh, after we are done uh, with our, uh, our end uh, uh, of testing, testers are done with, Production also tests the feature before directly deploying it uh, to the customer. So it can be taken care of by Azure test plans. Here also we have saved our time. Then, so then we have Azure repos. Okay. So if you talk about repos, uh, you must have heard this term repos. Repos are uh, kind of folders uh, in which uh, you uh, put your uh, data like in github also you have repositories uh, repos are actually a short form for rep uh, repositories so in github also you have uh, repositories so that is also here we have azure repos so these provide us unlimited cloud hosting platform and they are pu public github repos Public GitHub repo, why this word public? Because it can be accessible by anybody. If you put your uh, GitHub repo public uh, private, then uh, only you can access your uh, GitHub repo. But if you put private, then anybody who uh, comes to your profile can see your uh, GitHub uh, repository. Then we have Azure artifacts. So they helps us in creating, hosting and sharing packages. So these are some of the uh, very uh, important services that we have in uh, Azure DevOps uh, platform. And that's how we have increased our efficiency by saving our time in deploying, uh, retesting again and again uh, with the help of pipelines, uh, Azure test plans, mm -hmm. and with the help of Azure boards, we have a single platform where we can discuss meetings, workflow, and enjoy agile tools. So that's how we have saved over time and we have in decreased the VCM and increased the leading time. Now let's see how uh, using Azure uh, DevOps can be uh, helpful in you, uh, your company being an elite performing team. Firstly, of course, it helps in deploying more. It deploys more frequently. The one who, first of all, let's just define what is an elite performing team. So a team is called an elite performing team. If uh, it deploys more frequently, more frequently means less chances of errors, less chances of bugs, and more easily they can be caught and more easily it, uh, the feature can be deployed in less time. Number one, then we have reduced leading time. So if, uh, and from commit to deploy. So 
if uh, leading time as i told the productive time so if you do it frequently you will catch the errors faster and which uh, further infers that you will reduce the uh, time which are wasted and also uh, then we have reduced change failure rate of course because the more you deploy your uh, more frequently you deploy your feature for testing and all more easily the things can be uh, come come into play more easily it can be handled so of course it will have a very less failure rate then incidents can be uh, discovered more quickly of course so that's what a elite performing team is so how now devops can help you in your company becoming an elite performing team first of all it will help you since with the help of as i told pipelines so you will deploy and build your uh, build test so this tool azure pipelines will help you in deploying more frequently reducing leading time from commit to deploy so this can be done uh, with the help of repos you can uh, use it and testing plans of more testing it can be uh, done manually as well then reduce change failures of course that's the infer of the 1 and 2 and recover from incident more quickly that also is the infer of 1 2 and 3 any questions uh which region do we have to choose in a uh, while hosting your project um you can choose any region but i would recommend that uh, you choose a region which is nearby you you can choose south uh, india yeah okay any doubts guys let me see if any questions uh there is one question Um, can we integrate uh, github with azure well the answer for that is yes uh, you can use github uh, for uh, software development and you can also use that uh, for planning and tracking your work so you can do that just a sec guys like my laptop was some having some issue so to see that yeah yes you can say that uh, you need to test it uh, and uh, deploy it that comes into pipelining ci cd okay now let's get back to our presentation now we have done this now the last slide i had was uh, to show you that uh, which how you can uh, just um yeah yeah so this was just the last slide which uh, was to tell you uh, how you can create your very own organization has you have already done that created your free account uh, you went to this devajor.com you have started the free button and you have used your microsoft account if not you have created one then you have cl- completed the steps so that was the basic session of uh, azure
I think uh, it helped you. Now there are different kind of things you can do it in De uh, in DevOps. Uh, you can uh, learn about how to deliver in DevOps. How you can operate in DevOps. How you can uh, uh, some uh, how you can do uh, planning in DevOps which comes into intermediate level of learning DevOps. If we see about the traditional management system, uh, which is uh, not agile at all, it lacks the stability it lacks uh, how the end product uh, how we can decrease the vcm so just the summary i'm giving so that's why we use devops and if we talk about continuous integration it integrates the code uh, changes by each developer so that the main branch like uh, if i am in github also if you see now uh, Suppose I have a GitHub repository and I have a, uh, put a code and I wanted to change something. So I will commit it. Then other person found uh, some other feature and he will commit it. He or she will commit it. Then uh, what happens is you do it on your local computer and you haven't staged it yet. So when you stage it and then you commit it in the main file, the master file, that's what happens. Um, Similarly, here in the continuous integration also, uh, it integrates the code whenever each developer changes uh, uh, any code uh, line or anything so that the main branch remains up to date. And if we talk about continuous de delivery, what it does is, is take each, uh, each continuous integration build and run it through the deployment procedures on productions for further work. You can uh, also use uh, cloud platforms like LAAS and PAS uh, for this. I think that's the summary I have. Thank you. You can ask me your doubts if you have. Yeah, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Priyanshu, Harshit, uh, Sakshi, Khush Gupta. Thank you, thank you. How to be a student ambassador? Okay, this is very off topic, but I can tell you since uh, it's Microsoft. So for that, the application right now are open for Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. You can apply for the same, and there are some certain questions uh, which you need to fill, um, which uh, shows uh, how eager you are you have to tell how eager you are and how you can change the world how you can be a power for change uh, so right now the applications are open you can go to their portal for a student ambassador and do the thing did i miss uh, any question uh, how to be a student ambassador and no there is no any any eligibility uh, you just have to be um, 16 plus uh, and you can be a student i think 16 or 18 yeah something uh, yeah yeah so there is 16 or 18 uh, i think so you have to check that but i think you all are above 16 so you can apply for that uh, yeah applications are oh, quarterly seen Thank you, thank you, Sakshi. You're not audible. Varun, I'm you're... sorry. Uh, I was saying thank you, everyone, for coming here and joining the session. I hope it would be an informative session for you all. And once again, thank you very much for coming here and spending time. And I hope you must have learned something. See you in the another session. Bye.